drawn to is Kira Cummins piece All, which is lamp black oil on canvas. Um, I'm really drawn to the way that she's working with multiples and repetition in addition to just all of the differences in surface and texture of the materials. They're similar and yet the closer you get the more you start to notice the differences. They also feel small from far away and the closer you get to them the more you realize they almost feel like a microcosm again this topography of ground and pathways that I get lost in I'm also very attracted by by the way that she uses one color because again some of that intricacy can be lost from further away and yet once you get closer and you're drawn in the different reflections off of the surface or the ways that that surface structure and texture casts a shadow, um, creates a world unto its own. I was interested in reading Kira Cummins' work, the fact that her work is also about identity and her identity as a black woman. And so in looking at this work, I initially was thinking about these issues of micro versus macro surface and maybe something seeming small and then the closer you get the more you realize there's so much more to it that there are things on the base level that are informing the next layer and the layer after that and this just made me contemplate the issues of, of race and identity that Kira brings up in her artist statement, particularly microaggressions and the way something that may seem small builds and develops and informs what is below. Another piece that drew me in at the Invitational was a piece titled Zinnias by Carlisle Wolf Lee. I'm initially struck by the scale of this piece since it's a very large wall installation. Additionally, I'm interested in the way that my relationship to this piece or my perception about it changes depending on where I am in the room, how close I am to the piece, the angle from which I'm looking at it. And part of this is due to the way that it casts shadows. I feel like initially the bright colors of the flowers and their delicacy and the way that they've been cut out speak to the beauty of these natural forms and kind of almost uh, an awe about them and yet the shadows that they cast on the wall and the way they change as you move around the room or they're hit by a draft perhaps and slightly kind of move in the air creates almost a, for me a bit of an ominous feeling this this form that's lurking behind these beautiful cutouts. I think about process a lot. I'm always interested in how something was made and figuring out how that happened. In this case, these are pieces of plywood that have been laser cut and coated in acrylic paint, which further intrigues me. It makes me think about mechanical intervention into something natural. These flowers were cut by a computer and then the coating or covering or obscuring with something artificial such as acrylic paint. Um, those kind of details then start to make me have all new understandings of this piece or further connections that I might make about the environment or other other issues that relate to the natural world. Um, I have two pieces in the exhibition. Um, over here we have a triptych um, entitled Insidious Delicacy. It's pulp painting and two different types of handmade paper with watermarking. Um, so the forms here are all watermarks. 
In this piece, I'm thinking about different connotations that women take on, particularly when it comes to sexuality or independence and this kind of working through purity, whether a woman is you know, stained or tainted, and then how does that kind of become part of her persona? Um, the final print has a design on the background that when it's not framed, you can really, as you pick it up, the design overwhelms the image, um, the watermark, and uh, starts to really take over. All of the imagery from this triptych was made with just paper pulp. So anything you're seeing is paper fiber and not ink or pigment or paint. The red is pigmented fiber that has been kind of dripped onto the center bodice and the design in the background was made with a stencil using very fine paper pulp. And then this series, which is six prints, um, is entitled Alteration. And again, it is handmade paper. Um, there is a backing sheet made of abaca, and then the forms in the foreground that are white are made out of cotton, and they're screen printing on the back. In this piece, I'm thinking specifically about wedding clothing and a wedding dress, and what the experience, and through that, what the experience of getting married um, and preparations for marriage are like. Um, this series considers how a woman must alter herself during the process of marriage in order to fit into the expectations of becoming a wife. Um, the lace garments that are in the foreground, the collar, the bodice, the garter belt, those all are representing the bridal clothes, the preparations on the wedding day, the things that are going to be worn and kind of that initial excitement about getting married. While the sewing patterns that I've screen printed in the background, um, these act as more of a foundation and these almost like a whisper are the expectations or the designs that a bride is expected to conform to in order to be a good wife with a capital W. These prints were made with a mix of two different types of paper fiber. The background sheet, the natural toned sheet, is made from overbeaten abaca, which is a fiber that the longer you beat it, the more translucent it becomes. And the garments in the foreground are made from cotton fiber, and these are created using a process called the blowout method. So in the case of alterations, I'm able to create a really physical form with the garments by using a different type of paper and really layer that um, in a way that feels almost like a relief or topographic onto the surface of the sheet of abaca. And that sheet of abaca kind of evoking a feeling of patterning paper from, you know, garment construction. Thanks for joining me on this Artist Look Tour. Um, again, my name is Sukari Drummond, and the Invitational Exhibition is open until November 7th, so I hope that you get a chance to come by and check out this work in person. If you are interested in looking at any more of my work, um, my website is sukaridrummond.com, and you can also look me up on Instagram. Thanks!